Hello everybody, uh, today I am going to show you guys how to paint hair but before we start, start you have to kind of know what is the main structure of the object that the hair is draping on or the hair is on, right? And what is the form of the big object because it's not just the hair itself that you are painting it's the object that are on top of the hair so the hair texture itself this is the hair texture itself uh, hair that are on top layer uh, second layer and third layer so you have to break it down into um, groups right so you're not going to paint any individual hair so you have to paint hair in terms of grouping them and uh, each groups um, represent sort of like a uh, plane so this plane is on top and depends on how thick it is you're going to have the shadow drop uh, occlusion and if this one is on top of this one right here right breaking and then you have another one here shape of the object that the hair is draping over so in this phase you see that it has a pretty much a uniform default lighting so the light coming over here may be a little bit off to this side but um over the, the lighting is pretty close here so you have to be aware of the how much value you can give to the hair on each section like in here it will be pretty much the lightest area right and then as you move away it will get darker and darker also another part another key to be aware of is that your hair is will not have the same rendering like this because usually it will go in and when the objects going in it create the sort of like a, a donut that's why you will see hair always have this um, lay of right lay the right light area sorry around this and it might be because it's going inside so it's not really a sphere so it's like a a, a shape on top of the sphere and you have this section here that have highlight right but uh, it will be the lightest around this area and as it go backward it's gonna get darker because the light can't reach over on the side as much also uh, you have to break the hair into the shape big shape on top of it like in here you can break the shape into one shape here second shape there third shape here fourth fifth and sixth and so on so that is another thing that you have to be aware uh, when you're painting hair depends on the shape of the big and paint it in groups don't paint them individually depends on the direction of the light when the light is coming from the different direction this directional lighting uh, the highlight will move from um, you know the middle here which is this one is a pretty deep pretty much a default lighting uniform lighting to the side and then your highlight will be there and as you can see it will move along to this side then if the lighting coming from the top then you're going to have a different lighting depends on where the cutoff off of the lights are or is then you have a shadow and then this will be a terminator or sometimes you have be like flowing flying in the wind and you have the light that come and uh, touch it on certain surface and some of them will be away from the light uh, so you have to be able to identify planes that will be facing the hair and the, the plane that face perpendicular to the light will be the strongest another uh, tips on hair is basically if you have hair is have a very high specular level because it's pretty glossy so it's more like metal so when you're painting metal you're gonna have to have a strong highlight and kind of like a very strong shadow so it's make it glossy so but on the lighter hair it's like a lighter metal you're gonna have more gradient range and the value will change or shift gradually from maybe 80 if you look at the scale 96 to 80 to 60 to 50 to and so on so it's it's the range of value change gradually but for the dark hair you're gonna have really light if you look at the brightness there 80 then shift to 70 or 60 something and then it shift to 30 so it jump from the high to really low really fast so low to high really fast and in medium you you kind of have a, a mix between the both all right so now um let's get started okay that's dark enough like 
38% brightness and 70% opacity but it doesn't really ma uh, matter what what hue you are on as long as it's pretty close to the real hair color so as you can see I'm doing a bunch of big patches over here using default brush you don't really need a um, fancy brush to make the hair but make sure you breaking your hair in different uh, clumps or big clumps of hair that are breaking off uh, but now I'm just doing the base and make sure that your uh, the bottom of it have some kind of like a uh, just imagine that the hair that coming down from the bottom so now we go a little bit lighter maybe 10 to 15 percent lighter and desaturate it a little bit and I'm just gonna paint this on another layer on top of it and see two three clumps of hair four five so these are five groups of hair and a three big group and one small group behind the three big group and so now we have three uh three big group two small group now i'm gonna go a little bit lighter 10 percent lighter and 10 percent desaturate and maybe I'll use a if it's too light then you can lower your opacity then I make another layer and put it in around the middle and then if you want lighter you can go over one more time there now you have all the value that you need all you have to do from now is basically making a transition or making um, a little bit more detail or I don't want to call blending I want to call transition so now I'm just make I forgot to make a the light palette so now I'm just making a palette for that so now I'm just gonna use a regular brush uh, maybe pick the color from there using 50% opacity and drag it all the way down and drag it up down and up so that you know, make sure that you have uh, enough room in the middle for the lightest part and have some lighter hair coming down a little bit so it make a, a kind of a transition but don't blend them too much you need hard edge but this is all made by hard edge just as you can see there are transition in between and then make sure that the hair inside have a darker value so you have some shadow separating the, the clumps of hair that are inside the smaller ones and now I'm bringing um, the top hair and now I'm just basically I'm just making a spike, um, sort of a zigzag texture up and down I just use a lighter value dragging it down and darker value while uh, pulling it up and see what I mean so now you have that smaller strain of value but you have to make sure that you keep the big picture in line the big picture mean like the big shape and then more strain of hair now is a bigger strain then we're gonna break it down to the smaller strain and I'm using like 50% opacity and pulling it up and down so and make sure imagine there are layers of hair so the one behind you is going to be the darker ones and you're going to draw the lighter one in front of it so it's create that illusion of layers so just watch if you don't get it uh, watch it one more time now I'm picking another lighter ones and I make sure that it's lined up in the middle and I make sure that it hit the edges of the big group also um, make sure that all these five group of hair are clearly separated but you're just working on the detail on the inside of the group uh, make sure that you um, resize your brush as you go so you have a different sort of like you don't really need texture brush you can use a normal brush but the texture brush will make it faster like what I'm doing here uh, it will create the transition that 
uh, making noise a little bit faster rather than going to use uh, default round you can still use default round go but it you can have it's gonna take a longer time to create many um, line of hair and now I'm just use texture brush to make transition once I have texture brush for transition I use another brush a squeeze brush or the flat brush I drag down the sharper edges below and now it's hundred percent opacity so as you can see the hair is starting to create Make sure you stay in groups and now I'm doing the darker one right behind it. Um, so the way to make it visible is make the light on top of the dark and the dark on top of the light. Uh, so your hair will be more invisible. I mean be more visible. And the group of hair is still the same. So once you master this technique then you can apply all these to the same group of hair. So now I'm just going to merge everything down and it's gonna use light dodge maybe 30 percent dodge right in the middle of the highlight and i'm just gonna pick the lighter one and drag it down a bit just to add a bit more texture and so i create layers so now it looks like there's three or four layers in front of it so the more i add on top the more layer is gonna look it's gonna look thicker but uh, the key is to know when to stop and to to keep the group of hair basically separated and um, make sure that they are you still see the light and shadow on each group of hair. And the highlight are in line like what the line I just drew earlier. So make sure that the light and shadow are in the same line and the highlight always stay on the same horizontal line. Alright, this is pretty much about it on the hair texture. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope um, just go and try out, you know, try to create something that looks like this sort of hair because these are a little more detail of a hair and um, you can see all this layer here that I'm making so um, just check out the PSD file and you can help that uh, this sample file and once you are able to make this um, hair texture then you can move on to the next step um, actually we got a little bit more to go just slightly a little bit more um, so now we're just gonna add some a little more occlusion shadow and some highlight so I'm just gonna break down the hair strain on the bottom here just slightly a little bit just some line there's some shadow so it'll be layers and there so you can actually break break it down a bit more but don't try to make too much of it try to keep it consistent so now I'm adding a little more saturated color, maybe a little redder. And kind of trying to paint that on top. Moving it up. Add some darker shadow on the bottom. Because like hair usually will break down uh, as when it came to the bottom, so it become a little more uh, like you have a group of hair on top right on the top in the beginning of the hair strain and then once it come down to the bottom it can break down uh, quite a bit more and sometimes it can merge so in this part you merge the bottom a little bit add a little bit more shadow and usually the occlusion shadow will be more saturated so whenever you try to add occlusion shadow it will give it more depth so be sure that don't add don't put all occlusion shadow anywhere maybe two or three spot that's pretty much it and now we just add more hairline down the bottom here a little bit more occlusion shadow on a smaller line and then after this we're gonna add a little bit of highlight more hairline Right, we're almost there. 
I'm not sure if we need to highlight we probably might not need to highlight so I think this is just fine if you add a highlight maybe just one or two dabs of paint and that should be it um, let's see but at this point I'm more worry about the, the bottom part you see now the hair become a little more refined if you really want them to if you really um, trying to get the detail of the hair then here's where you want so now I'm adding a little bit more highlight just maybe dot a few dabs on the edge of the group of hair and that should be it thank you for watching guys um, if you like the video please click thumbs up also if you are interested in taking a digital painting classes with me I have a few courses open throughout the year just click top right corner and if you have any more question on classes courses mentorship or premium tutorial feel free to comment down below or just email me all right thank you for watching guys